So good morning, uh, welcome to Robotics and Automation Lab. So in this lab, we are working on solution for real life problems. So I always emphasize on real life problems because our projects are of that kind. So starting from the beginning, we have developed smart shoes and smart t-shirt because I observed that student used to drag their feet while walking and some of them used to complain about back problem. So we worked on smart shoes and smart t-shirt and we have published the patents also. Robert can also help us to fight against depression. So if we look at this artificial face, we are working on this project. So this artificial face can replicate the emotion of the human and it is the project we are currently working on. And if we're talking about, uh, we are also working in the field of biorobotics. So it's a robotics which is inspired from the nature. So we are also working for the amputees. Uh, we are making prosthetic hand, prosthetic finger. So the basic idea is that we have to give the ability back to the amputees so that they can hold the object again in their life. Moreover, we are also working on the sensory feedback so that they can feel when they touch or release any object. Moreover, this finger, if we're talking about this prosthetic finger, it can sense the temperature of the object also. Now, you can see this robotic spider student uh, has developed this robotic spider it's it's inspired from the nature we are working on the new locomotion also and if you see we are also working in the robots in agriculture field also so if we talk about this robot in particular this is a robot that can sense the moisture from the soil and it automatically turns on the water depending upon the threshold which is set in the programmer and even it can sense the notification to the farmer also. And if we talk about this agriculture robot, so this robot is a seed sowing robot and we developed before the lockdown period. Oh, now if we talk about the lockdown period, we worked on various projects. If we talk about this safety key, basically we 3D printed the safety key. We first downloaded the safety key from the internet and then we found that yeah, it was not up to the mark. There were some issues if we talk about the frictions and the design. So what we did, we added some pattern so that we can increase the friction and we change the design so that we can hold different types of doors. And if you can see this sanitizing mat, we were taking precautions. Yeah, we are sanitizing our hand. We are wearing mask, but we are neglecting the fact that we can carry the virus through our shoes also. So this sanitizing mat automatically sanitizes the sole of the shoes. And we are also using a lot of sensors so that it can maintain the moisture in the sponge area so that we can't damage the shoes. And after that, if we talk about this smart table, this is a smart table. Uh, it has a inbuilt projector and it has a, a inbuilt voice control lighting system yeah students are now aware about alexa they know there is alexa but they are not uh, known the basic of alexa yeah it how it works so we worked on the basic we teach the basics to the student so if you can see this we can see the example also how it it works we have to just tell the command and it automatically turns on the light and off and after that if you can see this uh, drawing machine it's it's the structure is 3d printed and it was developed just in two days what it, the basic function are that it automatically writes what, what the commands we send. It can be used as a laser cutting machine. It can be used as a CNC machine also. And if we talk about drones, we are also working in the fields of drone. We are using drones for agriculture purpose, like for spraying the pesticide at the particular area. And we are also using for the image processing to find the disease also. And if we talk about the next patent, we have filed five, four patents out of four. Three are published. So third patent is about the COVID-19 device. We work worked with ICMR during the lockdown period and that patent is about it's a smart device that can help to stop the spread of the COVID-19 and if we talk about the last patent the fourth patent smart jacket it's for the rider a two-wheeler rider basically so it can sense it's is there any accident it can send the message to the uh, their uh, home and if we talk about the future projects now we are working in electric bike we are working with different projects which we'll, we can reveal after some time uh, that's from my side. Thank you so much.